Hello guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today is a brand new signing video. Luton today have signed Ryan Tunnicliffe on a free transfer. He was recently released from Millwall. A lot of Millwall fans were very surprised that he wasn't offered a new deal. And yeah, we have got him on a free transfer. Our third signing of the transfer window. Like I said in my previous videos, I really want us to sign six or seven players. If we sign three, we're halfway there. We're halfway there. There's no way we're just going to sign three players. We're 100% going to sign more players. Players like Jack Stacey are rumoured to be leaving as well. Like um, J Jack Stacey's only got a year left on his deal. But let's not talk about Jack Stacey just yet. Let's talk about Ryan Tunnicliffe, our new midfielder at the club. Now, Ryan Tunnicliffe obviously has been playing for the last two seasons now, has been playing for Millwall in the Championship, kept him up, been in that, like, been in and out of the squad, but he's played a fair few games. He isn't like he hasn't played any games. And a lot of Millwall fans are saying that he was very vital towards the end of, of the season last year and helped him massively. And that I think he's a good addition to the squad. He is a player which we needed. We kind of needed like a younger version, Alan McCormack. Now he can be an, like another Alan McCormack. He's 27 this year, so he's approaching like he's prime in his football. So he, at this age in any footballer, that's when you want to play your best football. He's doing that with Luton, which is fantastic. So hopefully we can get the best out of him. He's going to want to play games. He probably will be starting the season off. I do reckon we will have a defensive midfielder within the team when we start the season as Glenn Ray is obviously out injured and that's the normal way we play our system. So, so yeah, I do think Ryan Tullicliffe will be starting for us straight away in, in, in the side and this also means that we don't have to like rush back Glenn Ray. Glenn Ray is rumoured to be coming back between September and October. This means that we don't have to rush him back because we've got we've signed obviously Ryan Tullicliffe which is a brilliant signing in my eyes. He played a lot of championship football and that's exactly what we needed. We needed players who have played championship football. I mentioned before in previous videos we needed players who are who have that quality and have quality in depth. You know, even though players aren't are stepping up to the championship level, it's good to have players who have that quality anyway and they can just step in whenever needed. You know, if we're not like certain players are not good enough, they can step in and have a run of games, you know, like, so it's very important to have quality in depth. Like for me, and when Nathan Jones first started at Luton, and what he says is actually correct, and that is, you need to have two very, two equal players fighting for, like, a like a certain position in the team. Nathan had two very good goal, well, we still do, we still have two first-team goalkeepers, we had two first-team right-backs, so it's good to have, like, competition in every position in my eyes. And that's what we brought in. That's what we need to bring in. And that's what we're currently doing. So, Tony Cliff, defensive midfielder. Good signing. First signing of the summer. It's interesting to note that all three signings have not been linked. Like, any rumours have not come out about these three signings. Which is quite, like, good for the club. And I, and I know a lot of people, they like like myself. I, I do like tweeting about transfers and that. Because it gets a lot of engagement on Twitter. It gets a lot of engagement on social media. But people react to it. And that's why people do it. That's why they spread rumours. I don't spread rumours. I get told information and then I release it on social media. But people like to know about transfers. And that's one of the most exciting things as a fan. You want to know who your club could be signing and stuff. So, yeah, these three players, they obviously, no one, everyone kept quiet. You know, or it could have been behind closed doors. A lot of people don't realise with transfers as well, managers do bring up players. They like managers have a phone book, you know. Managers can just dial up a player and go, look, I want you to come to Luton, you know. And that, and then that's how a transfer can easily be made. And that's what's pro that's probably what happened with Callum McCormack. That's what could have happened with Callum McManaman. You know, he's just he got the phone call and, and he signed for Luton just like that. And then only Callum McManaman's agent. And the coaching staff at Luton would know, and no one else would really know, really. And obviously the owners. But apart from that, no one knows, really. So a lot of transfers have been like kept very quiet. But there's a few which obviously are getting mentioned at the moment. Brendan Galloway and Walton. Apparently Galloway will be signing this week, which is fantastic. I think he will, he's, an, he's the replacement for Justin. 
you know, can play left back, can play centre half. I will make a video on him if he does sign for Luton, but that's looking very likely at the moment. Even Sky Sports are reporting it now. So yeah, that looks very likely. And also Walton, like I've mentioned this on a video before, that's very likely to happen as well. I've been told information about him that he could be signing. So this week's a very important week because everyone's contracts have like ran out. So everyone needs to sign and also people need to get clubs, you know, pre-season started, you need a new club. You know, the longer you wait, the slower you're like it's slower you get back into the team and that. So you kind of want players will, a lot of players will get signed this week 100%. But anyway, this is the end of the video. Hopefully hopefully you did enjoy it. Obviously drop a like if you did. Comment down below your thoughts on our brand new signing Ryan Tonicliffe. Let me know down in the comment section of this video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Follow me across all my social media if you haven't done already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.